So just a bit of fun this evening, really, um, and I'd like to know your thoughts on this. Uh, but there's a lot of talk at the moment uh, with me building this um, ticket clock about the use of bearings, micro bearings in clocks. Um, and I was with a clockmaker at the weekend and we were talking about jewels. Uh, and he proposed the idea, and it was just an idea, of using these synthetic jewels. Of course, the jewels that we commercially can buy, which are very difficult to get hold of uh, larger sizes, uh, certainly for clocks. Um, they're incredibly expensive. And yet they are simply made of, of these jewels, uh, these synthesized um, corunda, is it corundum? Uh, jewels. Um, so we, I bought 10 of these off eBay, um, very cheap. I think it was about 8 99 something like that, for about roughly a pound a piece, maybe even a bit less. Uh, and the thought is that we're going to try and use some of these uh, diamond tip bits um, and we're going to try and drill one out and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Now, the fastest speed spindle that I've got is on my CNC machine. So I'm not actually using any aspects of CNC for this. I'm purely just lining it up using the CNC, if that makes sense. Uh, but I'm actually manually going to, to feed the uh, the cutter into the workpiece. So let's go now and, um, and try and glue one, first of all. So we're going to literally, these have got a flat surface on them, so they've got points on one side and then they've got a flat face on the other. And we're literally going to try and uh, glue one of those onto a piece of flat surface uh, and then try and uh, flatten the top and drill it. Let's see how we get on. Okay, well, the drilling didn't go too bad at all. Um, I'm all the way through there. I'm not perfectly focused with this camera, I'm afraid, but um, we're all the way through. There's no cracking. Um, I just don't know how polished it feels like that hole needs polishing. I know it's had the diamond uh, drill on it, but I still feel that that inside needs polishing a little bit. Um, I've just given it a little clean out, uh, but I still feel it needs a little bit polished on the inside but it certainly is cut properly all the way through it seems nice and square um so yeah just wondered what you think your thoughts there i can imagine these are bang on eight millimeters uh, in diameter so therefore i can imagine sliding this into a collet and getting it square in a collet i uh, just want you what your thoughts are whether uh, this would be suitable in a clock so just a little idea, just a little thought. I don't think I'm going to dare use this idea uh, with this clock just yet, but it might be an idea for future. Just thought it was a bit interesting. Thanks for watching. See you next time.